Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 38 in my IGCSE exam question series. This is set theory. If you do find it useful, please do like the video and subscribe if you're not already. And let's get into the maths. Okay, um, we are asked to work out the union of B and G. So that means any any letter which is in B or in G. So there's going to be loads. The union is very inclusive. So we're going to have B, L, U, and E. And we're also going to have uh, G, R, E, and Y. But we're not going to write E twice because it's already occurred. So we're just going to write it like this. Next, we're looking at an intersection, which is very exclusive. You have to be in both of these two sets for us to write down um, uh, the elements. So you have to be in W and you can't be in G. So which are the ones that are in W but not in G? Well, W is, H is, um, I is, T is, uh, but E, no, that's in G, so it's not not in G, so it can't be in our um, in our set. So it's just these ones. Okay, Siena writes down the statement that the intersection between B, G, and W is empty. Is that correct? Well, are there any letters which are in B, G, and W? And the answer is, yes, there is. E is in all three. So the statement is wrong. And that's because E exists in B and G and W. Okay, next question. And we have a universal set here. So we'd be very careful. We can only select from these numbers from 1 to 10. And it says, explain why the intersection between B and uh, A and B is empty. Well, that's because there are no elements in A and B. So there are no elements in both A and B. And then this says that X is in the universal set. Okay, so it's a number between 1 and 10. And X is not in the union of A or B. So it's not in A or B. So what could X be? It's not in A or B, but it is in the yellow numbers. So the numbers it could be a 1 and 9. OK, next question. It says set C is such that A or B or C is the universal set. So that means that, um, that each number in yellow is in one of A, B or C. And A intersection C is equal to 2. So that means that A and C share the, um, the element 2. So that means C must have 2 in it. And this says that B intersection not C is equal to 4, 6 and 10. So that means that 4, 6 and 10 can't be in C. So another two elements that must be in C are 1 and 9. And that is because they're not in A or B. But we've said here that A, B and C cover all of the uh, yellow numbers. And finally, the last number which is going to be in C is quite a tricky one to spot. It's going to be the number 8. And the reason why is because 8 is in B. And if it was not in C as well then it would be part of this set here. But it's not part of that set, which means that it must be in C. Okay, we have a Venn diagram here, and it says write down the numbers that are in set A. Uh, well, we've got 4, we've got 2, we've got 12, we've got 6, and a lot of people miss out 1 and 3, but 1 and 3 are in A because it's everything inside this circle here. 
Um, B union C, so that's everything which is in the B circle and in the C circle. Uh, sorry, in the B circle or in the C circle. So we've got 1, 3, 11, 7, 9, 5, and 10. It says Brian writes down a statement that A intersection C is empty. Is he correct? Well, yes, he is correct because there are no elements which are in A and C simultaneously because C is all the way over here and A is all the way over there. So the answer is yes. Um, A and C do not intersect. And finally, it says one of the numbers in the Venn diagram is picked at random. Find the probability that it is not in C. Well, all the numbers that are not in C are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 numbers not in C. And in total, there are uh, two numbers in C. So therefore, it is 10 out of 12. Okay, this next question is a bit different, and that's why they highlight this word here, that each of these numbers here are not elements themselves, but they represent how many elements are in each of the sections. So therefore, there are three elements that are in the intersection of A and B. And it asks you for the number of elements that are in the union of A and B. Well, the union is everything which is in A or B. So it's everything inside this circle here, and that will be 7 plus 3 plus 8 plus 1, which is 19. Okay, the next question is asking us to uh, find the intersection between not A and C. So I'm looking for all the elements which are not in A and are in C. That's bit of a trick question really because those are just all these elements in here um, because they have to be in C and they have to not be in A so these are the only ones which are in C and are not in A so it's 1 plus 4 which is 5 and next we have the number of elements which are not in A or not in B. Okay. Well, this is very tricky. Okay, not in A. You guys are in the um, the set because you are not in A, and not in B. And you guys are not in B. So the union are all of the elements which we've just shaded there because those elements are either not in A or not in B. And to be in the union, you just need to satisfy one condition. So either or is acceptable. So we have 7 plus 8 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9, um, which is 29. Okay, so on the Venn diagram, shade the set, which is A union B, not. So I'll start by shading A union B. That's everything which is in A or B. So that looks like this. And then it's asking me for the opposite of that, so not that. So I want everything which is not shaded blue and they have to also be in C. So it's everything not blue and in C. Well, that must be this region here because that's everything which is not blue and is in C. And now we're asked to shade um, to describe this region well, this region is in this union, 
and that is the union of D and E. So the union of D and E, but it has to be in F as well. So it's the intersection of these two sets that I've just drawn here. It's the intersection of the blue union at the top and the set F. And where those two sets collide is the shaded region. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do like the video and subscribe if you're not already. And then check out my next video in the series. Bye for now.